Hey love bugs, it's Riles and Becca to one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video and the video I'm about to do uh, today is called Twin Flame 101 hey Okas it may feel like the Sun um, it may may not feel like sunshine and rainbows but you're you're peeking towards the Sun that you thought would never shine again that is true I know I was listening to something this morning and all of a sudden I felt this heaviness just come up like it, it was just like something really hit my emotions when I was thinking about that I was reading something or watching something I couldn't remember what it was where you know you're not exactly where you want to be yet or there's certain things you're probably still toying with a lot of heaviness in your life you know there's a lot of different things that still has shake, shaken you to the core where you're just really you know I'm ready to be done with it I'm ready to heal from this and you're actually in that vibration of where you know, um, you're actually putting in work for it. Because a lot of times, you know, we can sit up here and say we're tired of stuff and not put the work in for it. And I'll tell people real quick, and I had to even tell myself, I'd do a self check, self assess real quick. Because you get on your own nerves. There'll be different things where you know it, it, it's not going to always be this way, but it's just like that ego uh, is triggering you to just get into that funk and stay there. And this is like, you have to, it's like you have to be that person. That is going to allow you to give yourself that wake up call. You know, it is like something is always triggering for that wake up call to take place. But then it's like your higher self is like, come on now. You know, you really want things to get better. You have to be able to want to get better yourself. But it takes for you to have to get into work to do the work. You know, and this is when, you know, I, it, it was just like a post. And you know how I always say this is like a post will come up and it'll be like, um, you can't never get mad if you're not doing the doing the work that the blessings you want to manifest. You can't. You know, if you're not doing it, all you are is talking like, oh, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of going through this. I'm tired of struggling through this. And that's all you're doing is talking. You know, you can't expect anything to manifest except whatever you're tired of dealing with. That's what you keep continue to manifest. I used to be that way. I, I was at that way where I was heavenly talking about like that. But then it got to that point where I had to wake up myself. I'm like, come on, keep it real with your own self. You can't keep it real with everybody else. And then not keep it, you know, and be living in, in a lie with your own self. You can't do that. You have to be able to practice what you preach. You tell other people to do that. Are you living through that own situation? It remind me of that song by Kesha. Um, learn to let it go. It's like she, because she was telling people, oh, you know, you don't have to be a victim of your circumstances, or you know, you can always heal from anything you go through. But then it was just like when she would think about certain things, it would trigger her right at that exact moment, and it took her right there, right there to that exact situation that she was in. And it was like she was constantly going through different things, but she was telling other people, oh, you can heal, you can do that. And it's like she like she said in the song, it's like, I had to practice what I preach. And those are the things where, you know, when we walk on this journey, it's not going to always be sunshine and rainbows. You're not going to be wanting to smell the roses and all these different things. It's going to be storms. It's going to be, you know, hurricanes. It's going to be, you know, things falling out the sky at you. You know, when you're really going through some really tremendous stuff. But it takes you to have that courage. You have it in you. A lot of times you got to really go soul searching for it. And you have it there. But it's up to you to make that choice. And for you to do that when you know, you know, you're getting tired of going through things. But you're actually your actions and your words. And you know the work you're putting in. You know, and the energy you're holding is all through. Let I'm getting right with myself. If I want things to get better, I'm getting it right. If I can sit up here and put energy on things that's not irrelevant in my life, and I, I can go heavy on that and stay, you know, uh, paying attention to things. It's like, you know, why are you putting your energy all in this? And when we know you need to get to work on this, you know, and you used to be that way, you know. And I used to, you know, I was like that. You know, I'll sit up here and be watching. You know, videos. I'll be watching like anime. You know, different stuff like that. I'm like, girl, you could be putting this on, putting this energy on something that is going to be nurturing your soul. It's telling you to, what next things to do to move forward. 
You know, just like when you know there's enemies out there just trying to make sure you don't do nothing. You know, you're going through spiritual warfare like left and right, left and right, left and right. And the way you can the way you can sit up here and prove your own self wrong by allowing yourself because when we create that fear and we know it's there, you, you are putting that into play about what somebody's placing on your life. But when you're allowing yourself to move through that, those things are helping you progress into your life. You know, those are the things that's helping you progress in your life. You, you know, you, you may not realize that, but it is. You know, you know you're tired of your life being a certain way. And you start to put in action like, shoot. You know, if it's going to catch me, it's going to catch me. But at least it's going to catch me while I'm moving. You know, and that's how, that's how the mindset I had to get. You know, it's just like you fighting somebody. And they might overtell you. But I say, yeah, you might beat me up or I might beat you up. But you ain't going to sit up here and say you ain't catching no hands while I was, you know, in, in the middle of the action. At least you can say, hey, you know. That, yeah, I might have knocked them down, but that boy, that, that girl got some hands on him. Oh, man, that boy got some hands on him. You know, you're going down with a fight. You ain't you ain't going down that easy like that. If it was meant to be that way, it's going to be that way, but you ain't going down without a fight. You know, you probably heard that saying before. I ain't going down without a fight, you know. And it's up to you. If you know you want your life to be, able to be better, it's not going to be able to create itself. You know, you you putting in goals and you writing down affirmations, but the how you're gonna manifest it is by doing the work, and that's what they're telling you. You're you you know it, it's gonna be at that time where it's gonna be cloudy many a days. You have to be able to believe in that silver lining because it's always there. You know, if you can believe in all this pain that's coming in, you gotta believe in the love and joy that can come in. You know, everything is temporary. You know, you have to be able to live within the moment because a lot of times we bring people in our lives and we're more worried about is this person in our lives for the real thing? Are they here for the long run? Are they in here for a, a, a hot second? Are they in here in my lives genuinely or they got some hidden intentions? You know, and they always tell you only time will tell. But while you're there, you know, I had to be able to, you know, when I dealt with a lot of stuff like that where I said I didn't keep friends long. And it got to that point where even though I know it wasn't going to last long or whatever, even if it did, it would shock me. But I would be happy about that, too. I'm saying I'm living in the moment. I don't want to be thinking about in the future because the future ain't here yet. What I do is based on how my future is going to be. And that's where it is because we a lot of times we stay stuck in the past about things that, that were, you know, that went on. Things that we did, things that we are ashamed of, we live in regret, punishment, vengeance, you know, all those negative vibrations, the meanings that hit that. But not realizing that path, that past of that path was supposed to change us, you know, in some kind of way. Because they always tell you your experience of your past is the best teacher, you know, and you're in that present there where you're telling you got to, you know, what happened in the past can magnify either your life can turn very neg negatively bad or prosperously positively good it's just up to you on the choices you choose to make for that because it's just like with your life you if you know that you can be a better person you have to want to be a better person you know you have to start thinking like a better person you got to start talking speaking seeing everything better you know you you it's all about how you choose to move forward the power in the words you know and that's what they always tell us about that when you're moving through those different things you know it's always about the choices you choose to make you know, you may be going through a rut right now. You may be going through hardship right now. You may be going through spiritual warfare right now. And these are the things that are triggering something that is laying, you know, it's like just you scratching the teeth of it. You know, it's like skin off the teeth, you know, and you're scratching the surface off of that. And it's leading you towards your truth, you know, and just showing you how much power you have because we are very powerful beings. We very powerful beings because a lot of times we, I mean, I've even said it, I don't, you know, I've told myself, I don't know how much more of this I can take. You know, I'm tired, you know, I'm frustrated. I, I mean, I'd be screaming and hollering at times, you know, but then it was just like, you have to get into that point where you got to kick your own self in the butt. You know, if my family, my ancestors, God, you know, universe, the thunder beings, the, you know, the tribal ancestors, the tribe, if they really thought I wasn't going to be able to make it, you think they would have picked me for this? They think they would have had me on this thing where they think I was going to be fickle? You know, I, I'm really going to be in between the fence on things if they knew I couldn't conquer something that, you know, was written about but hasn't yet came to pass yet. And that all of us are on that journey. And, they, and a lot of times, it's like our, our outside sources got more uh, 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 like a bird's eye view of our life than we do. 
Because there's a lot, you got to think about it. If you have so many enemies that, that want to downplay your dreams, want to mock you for that, want to discourage you, they see the goodness in you. They see that potential, but they just don't want you to see it. That's the reason why you got so many people around you that's trying to, you know, make you contradict your own self. You got something very rare that they know if that peaks, that's it. You know, and that's why they on you and they're on you like flies on boo boo you know and those are the things that, that they're showing you you got that hidden potential in you and a lot of times it's like the, the situations you are being placed in is going to prove that you know there are so many different things that has been passed on in our lineage that where it, it's like every lineage every every generation has gotten harder rough heavier you know more dark and more, more dark more demented you know and then and we're not just dealing with that, but we're dealing with our old lives. You know, things that we have not had a karmatic cycle for yet. Then you are in karmatic cycles. You know, with these karmic, you know, these karmic curses and all that junk. Generational curses, karmic cycles. You know, all that on that. And you're not just clearing the way for you right now, but you're clearing all your, your entities from the parallel cycles that's going on too. That's a lot on one person. And we all got spiritual resources and sources that's going to help us through that. You know, and those are the things, but it has to be, it's all about the power of your mind. Your mind is a powerful tool. You are a powerful tool. You're a powerful vessel. And they tell you, your mind is the most powerful weapon. Now, why do you think people try to control it so much? Tell, tell lies on your vision. Television. You <laughs> know, tell lies on your vision and tell a lie. Pile a lie, whatever they want to call it. They're, they're doing that with you. They make you feel like nothing ever good can come in your life. I felt that at times because it was just like my life was all anything happy was it was either based off of a lie or it didn't last too long. And that was telling me it's preparing you for some kind of great success because you had to want it. You had to want it more than people didn't want you to have it. You know, you had to work hard for it for people harder than people are to trying to make sure you stop it. You know, they can stop that. And these are the tell these are the things that keeps telling you, you know, everything that you face is not gonna be sunshine and rainbows. But it's gonna get to a time and a period in your life, even when things don't you, you, you can feel it. Sometimes you don't see it, but sometimes you can. It just depends on what you know what your situation is. Sometimes you can see how things are playing out in your favor. But you have to be able to believe it. Because a lot of it's playing out in your favor and you don't even believe it. You know, because you're still focused on that mistake. And they tell you a lot of times, you miss out on your blessing because you're still focused on that mistake. You know, it can come in. You know, that knowledge of a blessing may come in. And it, it, it could be something that poses left some kind of revelation of a blessing that you oppose to, you know, allow that to sink in. Allow yourself to, you know, embrace that. And you miss it because you're still focused on what somebody's done to you. Or you still focused on how somebody lied to you or, you know, uh, uh, turn their back on you or some, some things like that. And not realize that was a part of it. You know, when, people, when you find out people are not who they say they were, you need to believe them. And then it's just the fact is, they always tell you or even you'll see it where some it is like God will kill that connection for it kills you. Or a lot of time God will change up your crowd because that wasn't your crowd. He got something better out there for you. He will show you different people that are in your life that weren't supposed to laugh. They're supposed to give you that experience on what to do and what not to do. And when God has this thing that's going to open the door of many opportunities for you, he wants to make sure you're around people that's going to add towards that, not take it away or stop it or stun it. You know, he wants you to be into that role. So a lot of times it feels lonely when we're on our role of a goal, you know, and we're on that. And a lot of times it may be, you know, I'm just like, dad, you know, I'm so tired. Of, you know, there's friends that I really wanted to keep in my life, but it was just like they turned their back on me. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that God done changed your course because that that already ran its course where I'm going. Those people can't go. Where you're going, those people can't go. They already meant in your life the way they were supposed to go. But history is going to come repeat itself just to see if you, you know, do you got, you know, are you doing the assignment? You know, do you know the assignment? You know, that song, I, I can't stand that song, but it's some kind of truth. It's like, I know the assignment, you know, and it's just like those situations are coming up. I see it when old people come back into my life and I'm like, mm. Hey, bye. No, <laughs> you don't already know you're coming back to try to do something. You may be trying to blow some smoke on my, you trying to, you know, live through the ego. And I already feel when the vibe is coming from the ego, you want to, you know, 
you trying to blow my head up or whatever. I'm like, that ego is starved. I, I don't live through that anymore. I can appreciate a compliment and compliment is due and I appreciate that for what it is. But then I can see when other people are doing it just to see how they can worm their way back in. And I'm like, no, I remember that test. I passed it. I, I'm, and that test is not mine no more. That homework coming back and up again and that's not mine. That's not my, my that's, really like, that's not my paper. You go ahead and take that back. <laughs> you know, and that's it. But I appreciate that experience I had in that chapter of my life I've closed the door to that you know and a lot of times we feel we go against we resist challenges we resist change and that's why a lot of times our lives seem so hard even though when things are coming up where it just feel like God is punishing us and it's like you have to understand God will show love through pain you know he will be cruel to be kind you know, there's a lot of truth that will hurt, you know, and those are the things that create strength within you, you know, become you're, you're create you're howling at the moon of the beast. You're at the belly of the beast. You know, you had to go to rock bottom to be able to guide your own self up to the top. And a lot of times you find that that willpower comes in when you're at the bottom of the barrel. You know, and that mess is getting hot. That's just like, you know, that torture thing where they show this this big metal barrier, you know, this big metal thing. That, you know, it's like a, uh, 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 what is it, a torture technique thing where they got this metal cow and they put that person in and they're like that, you know, they like that thing up. And that's where it was. We were there. Whatever painful situation that got us on that path of purpose. You know, there's a lot of things where people are like, Rosalind. Either, you know, it, it was like a death of a loved one, the truth of your life done came out, going through a divorce, going through, you know, going through many different things. That's where your path has started with you with, you know, and that's showing you there's something that is unveiling to you in some kind of way. You know, life is revealing a lot of truth to you, revelations, you know, apocalypse, you know, the change, the veil. You know, apocalypse has something to do with a veil thinning. That's that's that can be scary because truth, it can be scare scary to digest at times. And that's what's going on. The veils are being thin. You starting to see what you get you have the power to create. You know, if your mind can stay focused on all negativity and you wonder why all hell breaking into your life, that's what's happening. When you allow yourself to see the change of that a detrimental situation has created some kind of heaven on earth for you, you start seeing good things that's coming out of that. You start seeing things that's being eliminated for that. God's working in your favor to, to make things a little bit easier for you. Even though it may be kind of hard, he's lifting a lot of weights off of you because you allowed yourself to understand what was taking place. You know, you're showing gratitude that you're showing appreciation, even the things that hurt you a lot. You're still showing gratitude towards that because it helped you learn something about yourself, help you learn about things that can take place in your life, whether you want it or you don't want it, you know, but you have that power to be able to say yay or nay about that, you know, and then these are the things that showing you, you know. When you get to that point in your life, you're hitting a pinnacle, but there's a lot of people when I see it, like when I'm talking, I, I see a vision of it. Where I see empaths, they're on that crossroad. You're in the fork of the road where you can allow yourself to let destiny take its, you know, let destiny take its course. And you can be, you know, forward about what door is about to open for you because you put in work. You know, you allowed yourself to heal. You were doing your light working. You kept up boundaries. You meant no means no. You are adding self-care, self-love. You know, self-worth. You know, everything was showing you what not to do and what to do. You know, be grateful for everything. Not seeing it as a negative or a positive pessimist or optimist, but just seeing it as a lesson that's learned. And when you're seeing that, you will understand that, that you know that sun was coming to shine again on you. You're seeing that rainbow. You know, you, you, you know you're going to be that look a lot. Look, uh, what is it? Lucky Charms is magically delicious. You know, you won't see that pot of gold in that rainbow because I see a lot of people that are going through changes. And now the stim, uh, the uh, there's a lot of situations that are stimulating some kind of truth to you. And when you're going through these changes, you're starting to see a lot of orbs that's coming up in pictures or different images are coming up where you're starting to see rainbows a lot. And those are the things that are showing you there's some kind of line of hope through the storms that you are facing. There's there's hope that's revealing itself to you because they know you've been through a lot. They know you've been trying. Even when things was coming at you hard, you were still trying your best to be able to get there. There would have been days you've been angry. There have been days you were been depressed. You were all you know, you are you know, you are forced to be wet, reckoned with. They get that. But yet you never gave up. Even when you wanted to, your soul wouldn't let you. 
You know, it wouldn't. You know, you can say, I give up today. The hell with this. I, I'm done. You know, F you God, F you universe. I don't care. I, 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 I don't got time for this. This is y'all fight. You know, and then come to find out this was your fight to begin with. You you signed up for this. You you chose the assignment. You know, and these are the different things. And you get back up, even though you're like, you're going to apologize. No. <laughs> you know, I'm not. I meant what I said. I said what I said. I'm going to keep on going. And there'll be some time in a row where, damn, let me go ahead and apologize because I know I was wrong. They were right. You know, there, you know, different things was taking place. And then you're going to be appreciative of those storms. You're going to appreciate that rock, you know, that the rock of your boat. You know what I'm saying? You're going to appreciate even the enemies that came into your life. You know, the harshness they put you through. You know, all those different things you're going to see. It helped you build, build character. It helped you build stamina. Your strength is top tier. You can't be busted like that. You know? Because it's like when it, it, you, you, it's just the biggest thing that we're fighting against now is the old self. You know, we've been hanging around in that vibration and frequency for so long. We got comfortable with those low vibrational waves of ways, you know, and you're changing that. And that gets uncomfortable because you've been at that vibe for so long. When things start getting bad, you want to backtrack to what you were used to. You know, I, I, I can, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm here. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is what it was. You know, you're getting back on that track. So it's just like, you know, even when you're not exactly where you want to be at, you can have that vibration and you have that faith and promise that God didn't leave you with no unempty promises. You're going to see, even though it's hard to deal with, this is the things that's showing you where your strength is. You had to be able to face the worst of the worst in you. This is all, all, all the things you're facing was within you anyway. There was a war that was riding around. They always tell everybody in their own war with themselves. A lot of times we were carrying our weight and everybody else's weight. And when you kind of gave that back, you took your power back from other people, other situations, other thoughts, moments, you know, and you're giving all that back. But you're showing gratitude towards that because it showed you so much, you know, to the core of you. And these are things that's coming on that lets you know the sun is coming out for you. You know, there's hope. You know, that rainbow is coming out with all these different levels of col uh, colors that represent something in your life that is not yet came to pass yet. There's going to. And you know you, you're like right there. You're right there. And these are things, no matter what people do, what people say, what things are going on behind closed doors, God is opening a door that no man can shut. A lot of people are hearing that. A lot of people are hearing that your enemies are going to be your footstool. Your enemies are going to see you eat. They think they're going to be a part of that sitting on the stage, but they're going to be in the nosebleed section. They're going to watch that. There are going to be a lot of people that are going to wish they treated you a lot better. But all those things were a part of your life that was unfolding. You're going to appreciate, you know, it's just like when I see it, I see somebody on stage, you know, it's just like the Oscars, the Emmys, you know, the Grammys, whatever. When you accept that award, you know, and it's like, yeah, I want to give, you know, a... Uh, uh, you know, shout out to the fans, whatever. But these are to show you where you, when you get to that part when things are unfolding in ways you never imagined, you're going to be grateful for those highs as well as those lows. You're going to be happy for the people that believed in you and the people that try to shut you down, the people that shunned you, the people that, you know, that, you know, was encouraging you. All these things you're going to appreciate because it showed you a mold of who you can truly be to the core. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. You know, I'll leave all my contact information for you to be able to get into can get in touch with me. Um, just for spiritual uh networking, you know, just be able to give you a deeper path of purpose, you know, to understand how things are unfolding or why it is the way it is, you know. Um as well as, you know, um just show, uh, you know, just being able to give you a deeper path of purpose, just be able to understand what's going on with your life. You know, I try my best to be able to help, and I love the fact that I can be a part of that with uh, other people, and I love doing empath one on one. I always call it like empath social working, <laughs> so social working or empath one on one. So I love being able to do that. You know, I help out the best way I can, and whatever we speak on is confidential. You know, um, and being able to, if I can't tell you through experience, you know, I pass on what universe gives me to tell you, and um. I leave uh, my link to my podcast as well. That's uh, 
that I've been sharing and all those different things. And if you ever feel, you know, generous enough to make a donation, I always leave the cash app there as well. You know, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, sending so many beautiful blessings to you that, you know, God is opening a door that you won't even be able to shut. And you're going to have so many blessings in there. You can't even stop them even if you wanted to. I'm like, who the heck want to stop blessings? But I'm just saying, they're going to overwhelm you in ways that you're going to understand why it was so hard for you to bring those in. So, you know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity words vibes, frequencies you never know those things can really take somebody a long way and just for you taking the time out to help somebody in that way is going to take you even further and you know whatever part of the week that this video drops you know i hope you're having a prosperous week you know sending vibes of abundance healing you know calming elevating whatever you're needing i'm sending that towards your way much love peace